Hi guys, it's Ziggy from Scotland Travelaholic and today we're visiting the Kelpies. I hear you asking, why horses, Ziggy? I don't know. But they're really nice and amazing. All constructed from metal sheets. Each one weighs around 300 tons. There's a restaurant here, a visitor center, a cafe inside the visitor center, and a grill. So if you want a quick walk and something to eat, and indulge yourself in the biggest public work of art in Scotland, then it is really nice. So although kelpies look amazing in the daylight, they look even better at the dusk and sunset. So you have a chance you need to visit it in the afternoon or at night when they're lovely illuminated. If they're illuminated red, they look creepy and horrifying. I don't know if you ask me. I'm not really a big fan of modern art anyway, but they're really nice. I think it's the biggest um, horse, horsey art thing in the world. It's amazing how Falker can transform this uh, dead area into a touristically rich landscape. The helix along with the Falker quill makes this a decent area to visit. It is really worthwhile to visit this. Apart from walking around them, there's really not much to do. But it's really fun and it makes a nice afternoon. Now we're gonna go and check out the visitor center. So now we are at the cafe, which is actually quite good. And the coffee tastes good, which is always a bonus. Oh my god, Lego Kelpies. Here are some of the landmarks. Comparatively, Kelpies to scale. So the visitor center was quite nice. And I've managed to get a fridge magnet with demonic Kelpies. If you go down, you can see that they're really, they're really impressive, they're massive. Change the style of our videos a little bit. And we decided to do a little bit of vlogging to show you guys a little bit of Scotland instead of just making um, landscape music videos. I hope this will be a bit more interesting and a little bit more exciting. I don't think they have any function apart from being an artistic statement. So although we just recovered from the horrifying beast from the east, uh, it looks like we're having a nice sunny day. So there's really quite a few places where you can go from here. You can go for a bigger and smaller walks around here, or even just stay and admire the Kelpies. So Kelpies are a part of a bigger um, park called Helix, 
Helix is a park with lots of green areas and places to rest and there's a playground for children as well. So we're now on the other side of the canal. We're doing a small small loop from one side of the Kalpis to the car park which is somewhere over there. If you've got a couple of hours to spare, kelp is a really an amazing option. It's really family friendly and amazing. Leave a like if you like, subscribe and be sure to check out our website. And see you next time. And see you next time.